Hi, I'm John Corvino. Some people say that same-sex marriage is impossible by definition, that marriage just means a man and a woman, and you can't go around changing the meaning of words. Well, actually, in a sense, you can. Language is an evolving thing, otherwise we'd all be speaking the same language as our ancient ancestors. And marriage as a social institution is evolving as well. Also, it's quite possible to use the same word to refer to rather different things. The French use one word, avocat, to refer to both lawyers and avocados, and yet nobody tries to make lawyers into guacamole. Not even in France. Okay, our opponents say, but marriage has always been about bringing men and women together for the protection of children. But their claims about marriage's history are often rather short-sighted. Marriage has more often been polygamous than monogamous. Sometimes it's egalitarian, but often it's hierarchical, where women are essentially the property of their husbands. Sometimes it's about love, but more often it's been about the division of labor and the protection of property. And while children have always been an important part of marriage, they've never been its sole purpose. Also, despite strenuous efforts to erase gay and lesbian lives from history, we do have recorded cultures that have recognized marriages between persons of the same sex. They may not be common, and they may not look like contemporary marriages in many ways, but then again, neither do their heterosexual marriages. What this diverse history shows us is that we cannot settle marriage's future simply by looking at its past. And we certainly can't resolve any political debates just by opening a dictionary. Here's what we know. Gay people, like straight people, tend to fall in love, pair off, and settle down. And an increasing number are making the public commitment to have and to hold, for better or for worse, for richer or for poorer, in sickness and in health, to love and to cherish until death do they part. To me, that looks like marriage. And whatever it is, and whatever we call it, it seems like the kind of thing we want to encourage, love and commitment. And so when people say marriage by definition requires a man and a woman, not only are they getting history wrong, they're also failing to engage the real debate. Mmm, guacamole. Tastes like lawyers. <laughs>